interrupt your dream. Well, no, I don't. But how am I supposed to watch TV with you sleeping on a remote? <sighs> it's time for my favorite show. Are you smarter than lasagna? I'm going to give you a two on this. I think you need to work on your poise and your coordination. And while you're at it, see what you can do about that tongue. Why the long face? I know how to cheer you up. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. How about that, boy? Odie doesn't want to fetch the stick? Odie always wants to fetch the stick. He's been acting like that all day. I'd say it's because he finally realized how dumb he was, but he's not smart enough to know that. this water pistol. <gasps> Didn't he realize it's filled with strawberry lemonade? Hmm. Hmm. I need some more sugar. Hey, Odie. I've got a little treat for you. Here's a yummy bone for my little dog. He doesn't want to fetch the stick? He doesn't want a bone? Maybe I should take him to Liz for a checkup.
Bora. Odie. Huh? Odie, wake up. Hey, pupster. Open those doggy eyes of yours. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. You were thrashing around in your sleep. I thought you were having a bad dream. Uh-uh. You were dreaming a good dream? Uh-huh. About food. Uh-uh. Were there any other things worth dreaming about? Oh, okay, what was it? You were dreaming about being a great superhero and saving people in distress? Yeah. Especially cute ladies in distress? Yeah. Well, personally, I prefer dreaming about food. I think I'll uh, dream up some Mugu Gai Pan. Odie, is it okay if I tell you something? You promise you won't take it the wrong way? Good. Dogs don't fly, you got that? Dogs do not fly. Now stop with these daydreams. If you wanted to fly, you should have had yourself born as a bird. Get the nap. I'm gonna go down to Vito's for pre pizza. He doesn't know he's giving out today. <laughs> you can't come this way, cat. We're pouring asphalt and repaving here. Go around to the next block. The next block? Doesn't that man know the shortest route between me and a pizza is a straight line? I'll just walk on the other side of the street. I don't know what it is with that dog. He just does one dumb thing after another. <gasps> huh? Then again, he never got his feet stuck in freshly poured asphalt. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little problem here. <gasps> Make that a big problem. Help! Somebody help! <laughs> Help! 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 And double help! I'm gonna be flatter than John's last souffle! Help! So, uh, what do you think, Sam? You wanna go bowling after work? Stop! Help! Stop! 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 Help! Sam, would you speak up? Some cat is howling out here or something. Dogs don't fly, you got that? Now stop with these daydreams. Thanks for trying to save me, but now there are two of us about to become animal pancakes. Goodbye, whoever you are. But I'm not. Wow, did you see that? That that flying dog saved them from the steamroller. You're nuts. Dogs can't fly. That one did, just like a superhero. Huh? Did you see? I mean, I thought that the one thing and then... Oh, never mind. Yeah! <sighs> <sighs>
Hey, Odie. Uh, I had the strangest dream. I dreamed earlier today that you were flying. Uh, you were flying and you rescued me and a cute girl dog just like a superhero. <laughs> Silly dream, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I guess as long as it was a dream, I can go back to sleep. Good night, Odie. Uh. <laughs> I'm too busy to play right now. I'm making my special double-wide, triple-cheese meat and meteor lasagna for Liz's birthday. Nah. Can't have you underfoot just now, boy. But here's a nice bone for you. be meatier than the one yesterday, or else. Mm -mm. Uh, tomorrow, see if we can get him to give you more of those doggy biscuit treats I love so much. <laughs> Almost done. In other news, a rare alignment of cosmic forces will occur tonight. Professor Harlow Planfriends explains. You know that smell. I know that smell, and I love that smell. Jess, the dog star Sirius, otherwise known as Alpha Canis Major, is in a unique position with regard to the star Canopus, and are both in unprecedented alignment with the moon. Now, you say this could have a strange effect on dogs on this planet? Only the very stupidest ones. In fact, a dog would have to have almost no IQ points at all to be affected. Well, what have we here? <gasps> Lasagna. Take a good look at it, folks. It won't be here for much longer. Oh, no, you don't. It's lasagna. I have to eat it. That's what I do best. That lasagna is for Liz's birthday party. If you so much as touch it, I'm not feeding you until her next birthday. Or the one after that. Or the one after that. All right, all right. I get the message, Mr. Subtlety. I'm leaving this here to cool overnight. Don't. Just don't. Hey, I have willpower not to eat this lasagna. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Maybe just one taste. All right, all right. So there'll be one lasagna in the world that doesn't get eaten by me. It had to happen eventually. Oh, hi, boy. Did you enjoy that nice bone I gave you? Well, the lasagna can cool overnight. <sighs> Maybe I'll turn in early. Amazing. I thought for sure Garfield would devour that lasagna, but it seems he's managed to put it completely out of his mind. I will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. Why can't I convince myself?
don't care how much my stomach growls, I am not gonna eat that lasagna. <laughs> Did you hear anything in here? Uh-uh. I can't imagine what made that... <gasps> Lasagna for ten people! Gone! And I think it's pretty obvious who ate it. Garfield! <laughs> What's the big idea? Garfield, you ate lasagna for ten people! I did? Well, I don't remember that. <laughs> I meant what I said, Garfield. I'm never going to feed you again. Good night. But I, I that is, I didn't, I, maybe I did. It's come to this. Not walking in my sleep, but eating in my sleep. Sorry I ate that lasagna. And I didn't even know it. <sighs> oh, I bet it was good. I was too rough on Garfield, saying I was never going to feed him again. I'll tell him he'll get food again in a year or two. Garfield, I was thinking that never is a long time not to eat, so... <gasps> Garfield, how could you do this? Ugh. Garfield, how could you do this? And don't tell me you didn't do this. <laughs> if you didn't, who did? Uh, maybe the pup? Don't try to pin this on poor, sweet, harmless Odie. Odie couldn't do something like this. I've had it with you, Garfield. <laughs> I hope you brought me some doggy treat biscuits. Well, where are they? <laughs> what? No doggy treat biscuits? I warned you, runt. <laughs> You're not getting away from me that easy. <laughs> When I get my paws on you, you'll learn to take orders! <laughs> now I got you trapped, runt. Uh, I was just kidding about the doggy treat biscuits. Uh, you can have them all. In fact, you can have mine. Uh, I never liked them. I hope the TV still works. I have been continuously telling everyone the odd alignment of the stars and the eclipse could turn a dog into a savage, out-of-control monster. Gee, could that have happened to Odie? Of course, it would only happen to a dog who was really and truly stupid. Uh, that would be our Odie. Garfield, I may owe you an apology. Let's go find Odie, quickly! Let me go! I have a hunch I know where he is. <laughs> Ah, there you are, boy. Are you okay, Odie? I think we'd better take you to see that professor we saw on the news. I called the TV station and got his address. He's on Century Boulevard. There's an all-night pizza place on Century Boulevard. Oh, no. There's a policeman signaling to pull me over. What's the rush, pal? 
Well, he's really gonna believe this. It's my dog, officer. We think he may be turning into a huge, crazed monster. <sighs> no, honest. A professor on TV said it was possible. We're going to see him right now. Roll down the window and let me have a look at this monster of a dog. <laughs> that cute little puppy. A monster. <laughs> Garfield, did you see what happened? Nope. Huh? That's just your basic Odie. Well, just in case, let's get him to that professor as quickly as possible. Sorry to wake you up so late, Professor, but we were worried. Is that your dog might be turning into a monster because of the pattern of the moon and stars? I don't think that's possible. Not with such a harmless little creature. Also, he does appear to be quite stupid. We had to come to a professor for that news flash? But what if it is true? Even if it is true, it does not matter. The particular alignment of stars that caused the change, it is over now and will not occur again until the year 3459 on a Tuesday. <sighs> well then, problem solved. If it ever even was a problem. Besides, I have to deal with the following alignment of the moons and stars. It may cause an eclipse that will affect cats. Cats? Cats? <laughs> yes, but not to worry. If it does happen, it will only affect a very small number of cats. Which cats, Professor? Only the ones that consume vast quantities of Italian food. <laughs> I think I'll go see if that all-night pizza place is open. to play ball. Ah, this dog never learns. Fine, let's play my favorite game. Go fetch and sleep outside. all you like. I ain't getting up to let you in, Odie. The Xantium repulsor is missing. If I don't find it, I'll never make it before the Saturnian rush hour. There it is. That curious quadruped life form has really saved the day. How could I possibly repay you, strange earthling? Yeah. 
Seems like this selfish lasagna devouring orange creature has it pretty easy. It is time to turn the tables and make things right. The deed is done. Stop it. Garfield? Very funny. You almost had me for a moment. Where is Odie, anyway? Where's that dreadful stench coming from? Ugh, barf. What's with the doggy breath? I better go brush my teeth. How did I end up here? I must have been sleepwalking. Ah, there you are, Odie. Come on in. Breakfast is ready. Wow, you still can't get my name right after all these years. Mmm, lasagna, yummy. Hold it right, dear. If he's Garfield, then who am I? This can't be. Ah. Odie and I have swapped bodies, which means... That Odie's eating my lasagna. There you go, Odie. Yikes! No wonder Odie's breath is so unpleasant. I'm not eating that. Back off, Odie. Those lasagnas are mine. Right. Let's not panic now. Let's just... Ah! Odie! Are you trying to tell me something? Yes, yes, yes! John! John! It's me, Garfield! I'm trapped in Odie's body! Do something! Oh, I get it, Odie. You need some exercise. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Odie? Can't breathe. Must be a nightmare. That's it. Wake up, Garfield. Wake up. I don't believe this. Odie's watching my favorite TV show in my favorite seat. In my body. Come on, Odie. Let's run another couple of blocks. I've had enough sport for a lifetime. Arlene, it's me. Garfield. Yeah, right. And I'm the Queen of England. Arlene, wait! I'm really Garfield and I can huh? prove it. Last year, I accidentally ate all your birthday cake. And and remember I, I fell asleep in front of the TV on our first date? Thanks for bringing back such good memories. What on earth are you doing in Odie's body? Hey, you tell me. Maybe that's what you get for always being so mean to Odie. You're right. I always treated him like a dog, and now I am one. Aw, oh, cheer up, Garfield. Just think of all the new things you can do now that you're a dog. Like what? Run after my tail all day and drink out of the toilet? Hey, Arlene! Hey, Odie! Isn't it an awesome day? You know what, Arlene? You may have a point. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is fun. Uh, oh. yeah! Odie, are you insane? These dogs have a death wish on me. Odie, come back here. Garfield, this is your one and final mistake. Oh. Leave me, uh, leave him alone. 
Odie, what's your problem? You're protecting Garfield? Yeah. Can you think of one nice thing that Feline ever did for you? One nice thing? Uh, one <laughs> nice uh, thing would, uh, no. <laughs> My lucky bone! Booty, bad dog, cat. <laughs> now hush. Stay where you are, okay? Which way did that cat go? Wait! How do we know you're telling the truth? I swear, dog's honor. <laughs> oh, wow, that was hairy. Come on, Odie, let's go home. Odie? Odie? Where are you, you miserable... Odie, no! Yeah! This could be my lucky day. The day I finally get rid of that pesky vermin once and for all. Yeah, I'm sending you to Oogadoogoo. Help! Someone call the cops! That psycho postman stole my body! You in there? Dog's claws are so dull. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Another example of cats' immense superiority over dogs. Dogs don't land gracefully on four feet. There he is. I just risked my life for a laptop? Where'd that stupid cat go? Come back here, you four-legged thief! Oh, boy. Buddy, wait! This way! Not good. This way! Come back here, you orange nuisance! Not that way, Odie! This way! No way out. This is it, Odie. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for being mean to you, old friend. Goodbye, Odie. I'd better check how my quadruped friend is doing. My seven rings. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have interfered in the first place. Let's fix this mess before it gets ugly. <laughs> my delicate whiskers, my wonderful orange fur. I'm me again. I'm Garfield. At least things are back to normal. <laughs> All things considered, the chair is big enough for two, isn't it, Odie?
I was just indulging in one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, uh, sleeping. <gasps> Which reminds me, we get a lot of letters here asking me to name my 10 favorite things in the whole world to do. Well, here they are in no particular order. May I have the screen, please? Number one, sleeping. Number two, eating. Number three, sleeping and dreaming about eating. Number four, and this one's a tricky one, eating while sleeping. Number five, sleeping on my other side. Number six, mailing normal to Abu Dhabi. Here, uh, notice I did not mark it fragile. <laughs> number seven, eight, and nine are all more eating. Which brings us to number 10. Number 10, my favorite thing in the whole world to do. And amazingly, it involves neither eating nor sleeping. It's watching Odie being tormented by squirrels. I love it. I shall now demonstrate. Watch. This is going to be your favorite thing in the whole world, trust me. This is great. <laughs> oh, you <the> squirrel. <laughs> you can come out now. The squirrels are gone. You earned that bone, Odie. On behalf of myself and the audience, thank you for giving us such a good time. Audience squirrels, you just can't get enough of them. <laughs> Fine job, everyone. <laughs> that must be the stupidest dog in the history of stupid dogs. <laughs> that dog has the brain size of a walnut. <laughs> More like a cashew. <laughs> And now, we're going to show you something you've never seen before in your whole life. I've seen this. This just in. Today, a man in Sweden set a new hippopotamus biting record when he successfully bit one hippopotamus. Tied for second place is everyone else in the entire world. <sighs> Boring. 637 channels and nothing to watch. <sighs> if only my favorite thing in the world was happening right now. Hey, I know that bark. That's Odie's I'm chasing squirrels and I'm about to make a fool of myself bark. Yes, yes. <laughs> Quick, everyone, out the back way. It's Odie time. <laughs>
Scoring at home. That's OD1, squirrels 783. I can't watch this. It's too horrible. Yeah, he's a goner. Poor devil. Such a fine, brave squirrel. There's nothing we can do for him. Ha ha! Hey, don't worry, Oldster. The bushy tailed one here is just in shock. He'll wake up any minute now. Just give him time. Hey, what are you doing? Nah, we don't want that in the house. John doesn't like having unconscious squirrels in the living room. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Unusual. As a matter of fact, this is a first. No dog in history has ever actually caught a squirrel. This is a tragedy. I see. So would you say that the future of squirrels as a species is in jeopardy? Oh, yes. Definitely, definitely. It looks like we are at the end of an era and that we will all have to move to dog-free territories. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Take me with you. I don't want to move. I like it here. Yeah, maybe we could talk to the dog, make peace with him. After all the rotten things we've done to him, don't be foolish. He must hate our guts. We can try. What do we got to lose? <laughs> Shake paws with me? Yeah, yeah. After all the crummy things we've done to you? Yeah. That dog won't want to make peace with us. We have to try. What if he tries to eat us? No telling what he's done to our friend. He's. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Make a run for it. Hey, I'm playing with my new friend. Your new friend? But he's a, a, a dog. What can I say? We had him all wrong. Him and probably all dogs. Good boy. Am I a schizophrenic? Of course not. And neither am I. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And neither of you is worth watching. Oh, what to watch, what to watch. Could it be? Is it possible? It sounds like Odie's chasing squirrels again. The best buy for your entertainment dollar. No. 
We are forever your humble servants, O oh wise one. Odie, wise? What color is the sky in your world, squirrels? Odie's idea of an intellectual pursuit is chasing his tail for an hour. How dare you insult our friend? Are we gonna let him talk like that about Odie? Apologize! I will not! Okay, brothers, get him! Hey, get off me! What do I look like, a bag of almonds? Stop! Stop! No! Hey, oh, no! Well, it looks like my favorite show's been canceled. No more Odie chasing squirrels. But when you get bad news, that's the time to put on a happy face. <laughs> And if you don't, sometimes someone will put one on for you. I found an old empty TV set in a vacant lot down the street. It's heavy, but this'll be worth it. Oh, there you are. I'm about to leave for my trip, Garfield. Bring me something. Now I'm counting on you to be nice to Odie while I'm gone. You can take care of yourself, but if anything happens to Odie... I know, I know. No lasagna until century after next. Well, you know. See you in a couple of days. It's okay. I won't annoy Odie too much. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Walter Turkey Baster with the news for Puppy Dog. And here are the headlines. Major scientific breakthrough in flea bass. City to repaint all fire hydrants. And new low prices on cute little rubber squeaky toys. You dropped your bone. Wait, we have breaking news. The city has just passed a law banning all puppy dogs. No. The mayor has ordered that all puppies be arrested and locked up in a small cage where they will be fed only raisins. <laughs> Quick, Cody, you have to hide. They're coming for you. <laughs> no, 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 that won't work. They'll find you. <laughs> all right, puppy dog. We know you're in there. This is the police. Come out with your paws up. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Dog. What's wrong, little puppy? I won't hurt you. I didn't know puppy dogs could climb trees. Oh, poor little puppy dog. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. My mommy will see if you're all right. She used to be a nurse. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, ouch. Garfield, ouch. that was a mean and crummy thing to do. 
You're right, Squeak. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Squeak. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be wandering back in a little while. And then I'll do it to him again. <laughs> I'm so bad. There's nothing wrong with this little puppy, Nathan, dear. He's fine. Can we feed him, Mommy? Well, I suppose. That is, if he's hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get those Peruvian sardines out of the refrigerator, dear. What's wrong, little puppy? Puppy, you act like you expect someone to swoop in and just take them away from you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all yours. You can eat them all by yourself. <gasps> mm. When is Zodi coming back? I have more tricks planned. He only went across the street. Hey, that kid's part of the new family that moved in here last week. Go, boy! Fetch the stick! He's throwing the stick so Odie can fetch it for him. What's the point of that? When I throw the stick, I make sure it and Odie don't come back for a long time. Okay, he'll be back. <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> Can I keep him? Huh? Can I? I don't know. He may belong to someone. Puppy, do you belong to someone? <laughs> well, Nathan, you did do very well on your latest science project. I guess you deserve a reward. Yay! <laughs> you a name, puppy. <gasps> this is a book of doggy names. How about Rover? <laughs> Vi Vido? <laughs> Lassie? <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a boy dog. How about Fluffy? <laughs> Boy, here's a real dumb name. Can you believe that someone would actually name a dog Odie? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All John left me to eat while he's gone is this stuff. Look at these ingredients. No pasta, no ricotta cheese, no marinara sauce, and they call this cat food? I'm gonna go use John's computer while he's gone. Any sign of the pup? But he will be back. He'll be back. <laughs> Why isn't Odie back? <laughs> I'll have to bring him back. You like this, don't you? And we're gonna get you some new doggy toys. And for dinner, lasagna. Lasagna? I'm eating canned nothing and he's getting lasagna? Nathan! That's Mom. I'll be right back. Odie, quick. Here's our chance. Sneak out the window with me and I'll get you home. You don't want to come home? <laughs> this is your home now? <laughs> See you, Pop. <sighs> While you're busy, Mom, may I work on my new science project? That's a good idea. Stupid dog. Imagine picking luxury and lasagna over being tormented by me. Well, I won't miss him. In fact, it'll be nice having the house as a puppy-free zone. I don't care if he ever comes back. Puppy, you're gonna help me with my new science experiment. <laughs> This is 
my lab, puppy. Oh. This is where I'm going to transform you into a cockroach. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Garfield. I was just placing a bid on a piece of cheddar, and I was looking at some of the videos John's taken of you around the house. So, Odie isn't coming back? No, I can't understand why. Here, I'll show you why. Excuse me? 27 feet, a new record. Don't slurp. Don't slurp. I'm asking you nicely, don't slurp. All right, you're asking for it. Do not open till Christmas. <laughs> now do you see why? I guess. What difference does it make? He's living the good life across the street. <laughs> It's no use. You can't get away. You'll be a cockroach in no time. <laughs> Whoa, he sounds upset. Maybe they're out of his favorite mustard. <laughs> he doesn't sound like he's having a great time. No, he doesn't. Oh. Wait for me. <laughs> In one minute, you'll be a cockroach. <laughs> Everyone will want to turn their dog into a cockroach! Oh. Hurry, here's what I need you to do. Okay, I want some assistance. Why does someone always interrupt you just when you're about to turn your dog into a cockroach? Now, where was I? Oh, yes! Turning you! Into a cockroach! I was about to... Where'd he go? Where did my cockroach-to-be disappear to? <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? No! Sorry, fella. I need my friend back. I've been kind of rotten to him lately. No! What? You heard me say I've been kind of rotten to my friend lately? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't mean that. I just, what I was, well, it's... We have breaking news. Odie the Pup is home, and Garfield won't do anything mean to him for at least two weeks. <sighs> Make it a week and you got a deal, pal. Uh -huh. 